Ayo, hey, what is poppin' crossers? In today's video, I'll be talking about all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures coming to the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. So let's get right into it. So to start off today's video, if you are from the Southern Hemisphere and you want an in-depth guide for all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures this month, make sure you check out the link down below. And if you do want to stay up to date with all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures every single month, make sure you check out my Animal Crossing playlist on my YouTube channel because all the videos are there. In today's video, I'll be covering all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures in the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. So to start off, I'll be talking about all the different bugs, fish, and sea creatures leaving at the end of the month. If you don't have these make sure you get them before the month ends since they won't be coming around for a good while. Starting off with the fish that are leaving at the end of the month of April, we have the dab, tuna, and blue marlin. The dab is really really easy to catch. The tuna and blue marlin can both be found at the pier on your island, which is a dock on your island. The tuna and the blue marlin aren't really easy to catch, but they're not really hard to catch. If you put enough time into fishing, you'll get those in no time. And then bugs leaving at the end of the month, we only have one and that is a tarantula. The tarantula spawns after 7pm on your island and this one's not too hard at all to catch. If you're just playing a lot, you're going to see this in no time. Just be careful when you're trying to get it though, you don't want to get hurt. And then finally, we have the deep sea creatures leaving at the end of the month. We have only three of them, which is the sea cucumber, snow crab, and the spider crab. The sea cucumber should be extremely easy to catch, and the snow crab should be relatively easy to catch as well. The spider crab does have a low spawn rate, so it might be hard for you to catch. The only tip I have for that one is just swim a lot, and eventually if you see a quick swimming speed in the water, that should be the spider crab. Those are all the different bugs, fish, and sea creatures leaving at the end of the month for the month of April in the northern hemisphere. If you don't have any of those yet, make sure you get them before the month ends. And next up, we have the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures in the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. If I'm going too fast for your liking at any point in the video, make sure you just pause it as all the information will be on the screen. Starting off with fish, we have a lot of brand new fish this month. Starting off with the killer fish, which sells for 300 bells at the Nook's Cranny. This one can be found at the pond on your island. Shoutout size for this is tiny, and this one is available all day around your island. Next up, we have the crawfish. This one sells for 200 bells at the Nook's Cranny. This one can also be found at a pond on your island. Shoutout size for this is small, and this one is also available all day around your island. Next up, we have the Snapping Turtle, which sells for 5,000 bells at the next cranny. The shadow size for this is large, and you can find this one at the river on your island, and the time for this one is 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Next up, we have the Guppy. This one sells for 1,300 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is tiny. This one can also be found at the river on your island, and this one has a time of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Next up, we have the Neon Tetra, which sells for 500 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is also tiny. This one can also be found at the river on your island, and also has a time of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Next up with the seahorse, this one sells for 1100 bells at the next cranny, shadow size for this is also tiny. This one can be found at the sea on your island and the time for this one is all day. Next up with the clownfish which can be sold for 650 bells at the next cranny, shadow size for this is tiny. This one is also found at the sea on your island and is available all day around your island. Next up we have the surgeon fish which sells for 1000 bells at the next cranny. This one has a small shadow size, is available at the sea on your island and this one is also available all day around your island. Next up, we have the butterfly fish, which sells for a thousand bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is small. This one is available all day around your island, and this one can be found at the sea on your island. Next up, we have the zebra turkey fish. This one sells for 500 bells at the next cranny. This one has a medium to small shadow size. This one can be found at the sea on your island, and this one is available all day around your island. That's it for all the brand new fish this month. All of these should be really, really easy to catch. Maybe not the snapping turtle, since that one does have a lower spawn rate than the rest. But besides the snapping turtle, all of these should be really, really easy to catch. Next up, we have all the brand new bugs this month. Starting off, we have the common blue bottle, which sells for 300 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island and is available from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the agrius butterfly, which sells for 3,000 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island and is available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Roger Brooks bird wing, which sells for 2,500 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island as well and is also available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Alice Moth, which can be sold for 3,000 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on the side of trees, and this one is available from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. on your island. Next up, we have the Madagascan Sunset Moth, which sells for 2,500 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island and is available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Long Locust, which sells for 200 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found hopping around the ground, and this one is available from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Darner Dragonfly, which sells for 230 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island similar to the butterflies, and this one is available from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Giant Water Bug, which sells for 2,000 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on fresh water, and this one is available from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. around your island. And if you're unsure as to what fresh water means, basically anywhere where there's a water pool on your island, so example ponds or rivers, you'll see the giant water bug just kind of floating on it. Next up with the jewel beetle, which sells for 2,400 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on tree stumps, and this one is available all day around your island. So once you cut down a tree and it leaves a stump there, if you just leave the stump there for a while, then eventually it will spawn the jewel beetle on other beetles. And finally, we have the flea. This one sells for 70 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on villagers' heads, and this one is available all day around your island. And there's two ways to tell if your villager has a flea on its head. The first way is to see if there's a visible flea jumping on its head. And the second way is to talk to your villager. And if they're talking about their head hurting or their head's itching, then you know there's a flea on their head. Then simply approach them with a net and hit them on the head with a net and you'll be able to catch the flea. 
And don't worry, they won't actually get mad at you for hitting them on the head with a net. If there actually is a flea on their head, they'll actually thank you for taking it off their head. And that's all the brand new bugs this month in the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. All of these are really, really easy to catch. And finally, we have two new sea creatures in the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. First off, we have the Lobster, which sells for 4,500 bucks at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is large. This one has a fast swimming speed, and this one is available all day around your island. And next up, we have the Sea Pineapple, which sells for 1,500 bucks at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is small. This one has a slow swimming speed, and this one is available all day around your island. Both of these should be relatively easy to catch. Maybe not the Lobster as much as the Sea Pineapple, but the Lobster, if you're doing enough swimming, you should be able to catch it in no time. And that's it for other brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures in the month of April for the Northern Hemisphere. If you did find today's video helpful, consider dropping a like on the video. And if you do want to save the day with other brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures every single month, make sure you check out my channel and check out the Animal Crossing playlist on my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.